Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. And as I said before, I will never get tired of being grateful to be here again. Today, where you worship the dead, I would like to leave a few words. What is death? For you, a reason for despair, suffering, anguish, pain, anger, and why not say to many, joy, happiness of freeing themselves from a harmful being. So the feelings are countless. Everyone feels it in their own way, but I ask again, what is death? For many of you it is the end, the end of the road, the end of the path, the end of coexistence, the end of love, the end of the relationship. In general terms, the end. For us it is a reason for joy, because that soul is once again free from that body that imprisoned it and will be able to see everything it did wrong, it will be able to learn, you will be able to study, you may decide to return, you may not decide to return, everything will depend on your level of evolution and what the karmic council decides. Of course, we understand the pain of loss. I am not here at any point taking away this fact nor finding it unnecessary. Experiencing the morning of a death is necessary, where you suffer for the breakdown of that relationship. So cry, cry a lot, feel longing, but don't get attached to that soul that leaves. We have always said this, each soul makes its choice, each soul receives what it sows. So death comes for several reasons, by determination of the soul itself, for not taking care of herself her physical body, for putting his life at risk, by his own decision to take his own life. Death comes in many ways and what is up to each of you? Respect that soul. For many, someone's death is something that was intentional, that person died to make you suffer, to cause you harm. And then I tell you, you are letting your ego speak louder. Because those who plan their own death to harm others would not be able to mention here all the feelings involved. So, this is a subject that I could talk about, talk about here, for hours and hours and hours, but that's not the case. What I would like to leave you with is just one word, love. Be grateful for the time you lived with those who are gone. You had this opportunity, no matter what kind of relationship you had. You had happy moments, you had sad moments, moments of disagreement, it doesn't matter, you lived with that soul that was gone. Be grateful for that. You taught her a lot and she also taught you a lot. So be grateful for the time spent together. Do not see the death of that being, that soul, as a punishment for you, because it is making you suffer. It's not her choice to make you suffer. She just chose to die, and she would be very happy if you accepted her decision. And here is a very important thing, the decision to die takes place before incarnating. The soul establishes exactly what will pass and when it will die. So, the people around have nothing to do with the decision. Exceptional cases, those where the soul causes its own death, but I would also say, respect its decision. So at any moment there is always love and respect. What if I told each of you that very soon in the fifth dimension you will have the opportunity to be with each of the loved ones you have had again? And then I'm going to tell you something, you will be aware of all the lives you have had. So it will even be difficult to see so many relatives, so many friends, from eons of time. Of course, they won't appear all at once, the most recent ones will appear those that you remember having contact with. But one fact is important, not everyone you have had contact with you will see in the fifth dimension, because they will not be fifth dimensional souls, they could still be souls from Tercera. But you will have this awareness and you will be able to help them evolve, even without seeing them. Just by being aware of where they are, you will be able to emanate all the love so that they follow the path of evolution, do not want to remain in the duality of a third dimension. So why the sadness? If the pain is very deep, if the pain is very strong, we are here to hold them, give them support, 
give them a hug. Just ask, and surely whoever asks with faith, whoever asks with tenderness, affection, will receive this hug, receive the lap of my mother who will caress and dry all the tears. I would very much like to ask each one of you today, do not suffer. Be grateful for the time you spent with that being. Remember good times. Remember everything you lived, spend the day laughing, remembering the good times, this will bring joy to the soul of those who have passed away and bring encouragement to their hearts. Suffering is not representative of love. Crying, kicking, screaming, shouting, to demonstrate loss, does not represent love. I would say that he often represents a play, a play, in which he needs to demonstrate despair so that others feel sorry, but deep down, the heart is celebrating for the one who is gone. So be authentic. Be grateful for the experience of having lived, with those who have passed away. It is no longer a moment of pain, of suffering. The moment of pain and suffering is at the moment of loss and since you worship burying your physical bodies, all this pain ends there, and it turns into longing and gratitude. It can no longer be suffering. Because when it is suffering you are not only causing suffering to yourself, but to the soul that is gone as well, and she has no peace, she doesn't disconnect, she stays attached to you, because you are maintaining contact with her. Then realize how selfish you are being. Respect that soul's decision to leave and change your feelings to gratitude and longing. I understand that it was many eons of time that you were accustomed to these macabre rituals that were imposed on you. In the past, bodies were always burned, because it no longer represented anything, but today you take pleasure in worshipping something dead, something lifeless, totally meaningless. So I just ask each one of you, have longing and gratitude, not suffering and pain. Because I couldn't help but remember, when you suffer and bind that soul to you, this also reverberates, this also has consequences for you, because you are enslaving that soul and your harvest will certainly not be good. So just respect the soul that has passed away and continue your journey. Ask for help from whoever you want and it will certainly be given to you.